Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, SMW Outdoor Fishing Adventures. Well, today is going to be a kind of a video that's going to bounce around a little bit. Um, I uh, opened these lures up basically here. What I was trying to do is look for a product that um, that I've used before, and um, it's done really well. And I wanted to kind of find a counterpart to it. Um, kind of got there a little bit, but not exactly where I want want to be. And I was kind of going to do a little searching, but this little package here, a little lot, um, is definitely well worth it. Um, I don't do unboxings anymore, but when I find this type of thing, um, I'm going to start buying them because I want to do a little um, area dedicated to my vintage stuff. I have actually quite a bit of it now. So, um, so I'm going to get into it. This is kind of a combination of lipless, square bill, and... Um, um, round bill and I'm not going to say the manufacturers other than um, the Cotton Cordell G film series which I've been using a, a lot in the past. Um, I'm going to start out with the first one basically it's, um, it's the it's the next caliber I'm sure you know what that is and it's a uh, Bill, Bill Dance signature which I was very very surprised um, what this is. Um, it's this guy right here. So I'm going to go through them real quick and one by one. I mean, that's definitely the worth a lot right there. I think the lot was like $17 off of eBay, um, something like that, and like $3 to ship it. Um, so that's, that's a home run there. And this is the lure right here as you go in, again into my videos. You'll see I use this a lot. Um, the color is it's made by Cotton Cordell. Um, it's a rattle, and um, it's called G-Fill G Neon Spot. And it's that color right there. I got a bunch of them, different colors, but this is the guy right here. Um, I swear by it. I, I don't know how many how many fish I caught. Um, it was in my cackle trays for probably 30 years. And I just picked it up one day, and I said, well, I'm going to give this a try, and it's been just crazy good. I don't know how many fish I've caught off it, but tons. I'll put it that way. So if you find one, go try it. I mean, I can almost guarantee you're going to catch fish with it. They're a little more expensive now. They're like um, $12 to $17. Um, I got a bunch of them, uh, fortunately. But if you keep looking, you're probably going to find some lots like this. Um, the one I thought was going to be pretty close, it's kind of close, um, is this guy right here. And what I want to find is a, um, a square bill that's very similar to the color. Um, and that's this guy right here. It's a little, little square bill. The colors are kind of close, but not not quite yet there. Um, I'll keep searching. I mean, the colors are really nice. I might give it a try for, uh, I call it a square bill, square bill junior, and it is made by Cotton Cordell. Um, the next one right here is probably like, you've seen a lot of that, and um, I'm not really, I'm not even going to actually um, tell you the manufacturer. I'm sure you know what it's, who, who it is. If you do a lot of fishing and it's that guy right there it's a little lipless uh, I've never seen this before I know it's balsa I don't even know who makes it um, it's, it's a little um, again it's a little round bill uh, it's this guy right here kind of unique colors I never seen like the round bill actually painted the color of the the body um, it kind of looks like maybe this has been a custom color. Somebody painted this custom. Um, that's what it kind of looks like to me. You can kind of tell on the on the bottom, the orange way they kind of go up uh, into the top of the uh, of the of the round round bill. And the next one is just a basic lipless. I mean, it's kind of cheap. I'm not sure you've actually even who makes it. Um, that's that one right there. And last but, but not least, um, I don't even know, who, again, who makes this one. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, probably going to have to go. I'm sure you, if you get in, if you fish a lot, you know who makes it and who, who it is. It's this guy right here. It's just a long, round bill. So that's that lot. Um, again, I don't do unboxings or that type of thing I do unveils for the companies that I get involved with 
Um, if they have a new product or a company that I was named to their pro staff. Um, speaking of pro staff and uh, followers and that type of thing, I had a company uh, very local to me um, that just re recently uh, shut down their online store. Um, pretty disappointing, actually. Um, I feel so bad for them. And their thing is, uh, I think they said is um, they tried their best. Um, in fact, I have their jersey and hat on. They're the ones that supplied me my gloves. Um, in fact, I got so many gloves now. I see even seeing that they shut down. I they're gonna last me for quite a while. They sent me just a bunch of them. Um, I don't know. It just uh, it just seems like um, what's happening is there's just so many that are popping up. What I'm gonna call them is uh, I'm gonna call them pop up um, apparel stores and pop up tackle stores. Um, Probably going to ruffle some feathers, but this is just how I feel. Um, it is basically what's happening is a lot of these guys, um, it's not mainly hard baits, it's soft baits. You can get all these molds now and, um, and that type of thing. And um, what a lot of these guys are, they're just, they're buying the molds, they're making their product, and how they're making their product is in just in a, just in a residential or just in a home type stove um, and they're packaging their product um, in a baggie with uh, a little label printed off of, of, off a computer printer. Um, it's sad. I mean, it's really sad for the fact that they're taken away from all the, sm the smaller companies that are actually doing it right. Um, and as far, as far as how they're advertising them, they're putting them on fa Facebook. That's where I see a lot of them. And um, you can put a, a website together for free now. And that's how they're doing it. And it's taken away from a lot of these companies. In turn, what's happening, and we're losing, as far as in a pro staff situation like me, uh, you're losing, they're losing out to products or companies that are starting to sell a lot. Um, Say on uh, Amazon, that type of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's um, it's sad. I mean, like um, companies like Reaction and and those types of things, I'm sure they're going to eventually, you know, really have to push to, com to compete with some of these guys. Um, so you're actually, what are you selling? You're selling pro good product to not so good product. People are buying them. Um, Probably not so proud of because they're so cheap. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really really up in the air about these things and really bothering me because um, I don't want to lose these companies because they're so been so good to me. Um, and plus the local companies, this guy or this uh, couple who started the company, it's Mickey Finn uh, Fishing Accessories. Um, they're 12 miles from me, and it's sad. Um, they had a lot of nice product and inexpensive and um, I should say inexpensive but competitive prices and um, they just basically couldn't do it anymore. Another one that I lost was um, American Tackle Company. I don't know what happened to them. I was going to um, have a custom rod made um, but they're they're gone. I mean, the company's still there. Uh, they're really their reputation was selling um, various uh, um, rod rod parts, basically. And uh, I thought they had a rod builder, but apparently not. I can't even get into a retail store that they had anymore. So, um, so I'm not sure exactly what's gone there. I didn't get any uh, type of. Um, uh, a message from them to saying that you know we're not no longer going to have this or not. So yeah, I'm really um, really up in the air about these. What do I call them? Um, like you have the uh, backyard mechanics, backyard um, tackle companies. Um, I mean, all these other companies they got to pay their liabilities, their taxes. They have to get their selling permits and on and on and on. Are these other guys doing it? Um, I would hardly, I would hardly think no. Um, I won't buy from from them. Um, you know, 
I've been playing around with a lot of uh, like spinner spinner baits, things that I like, and um, but I will never sell them. I'll I'll use them, but I'll I'll never sell them. Um, and if this guy right here, I can't find, then I'm going to find a custom painter to have him paint it. Um, but will I sell it? No. Um, so I want you know leave it to the people that that have the reputation. They put out good, good products, and I'm saying that to the all fishermen. Sell buy quality and don't don't buy stuff that's not. Um, I see some of these guys that are taking them out of the molds, and they don't look very good. They have all the remnants of the mold on there. They're not trimming them off, and um, I mean they have all kinds of stuff now like that. I mean, like I said, every other every day that I go look at Facebook and they're just popping up, popping up, popping up, and they're all brand new ones. Are new ones that I've never seen. Thousands of them, actually. Um, so that's basically my uh, take on the. I w I'm going to call them pop up um, uh, tackle companies, and that's basically what they are. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, that's basically where I wanted to go with this video. In fact. The main part was trying to find this uh, this product here, and basically to say to say goodbye like to Mickey Finn. Um, I'm going to keep on wearing their stuff. I'm going to keep on. Um, they bought me. Or they bought me. They sent me a bunch of gloves as kind of probably like a go away gift and um, shirts and um, stickers and that type of thing. I'm still going to sticker them on my um, my kayak for. The memories, you know, they've been good to me, so I'm going to leave their sticker on there, kind of like maybe a memorial. Um, so, uh, so basically, basically, that's what this video is about. And um, I like to thank everybody for uh, that have been viewing. Uh, I'm just kind of staying steady. Um, my subscribers are up probably like um, oh, 45 to 85 a month, so those are gradually going up. The only thing that's that's down, of course, with the watch time. Um, that's not very good at all. Um, so I don't know. I mean, you look.